Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to talk about Firefox versus Chrome. Uh, compare the two and point out how many similarities these two applications have, or these two web browsers, I should say, more specifically. Um, so my conclusion here is going to kind of be that the two different web browsers, whether you're using it on Windows, PC, Linux, or your mobile devices, they are incredibly similar, and your choice in the browser doesn't particularly matter. I think where the choice may be most relevant is that you would sign into a Google account with Google Chrome, of course, and in Firefox, it's tied back to your Firefox account if you choose to have one. So that might matter for some people who only want to log in with their Google account. Uh, but beyond that, you can just see how similar these two different applications look. Uh, if it wasn't for things like this sign-in indicator for Chrome, it would probably be pretty difficult to identify them on a first glance, but this does stand out in Chrome. In order to sign in with Firefox, you would have to go down here and click sign in to sync. Not really more difficult, um, but it lacks that visual indicator. But beyond that, you have bookmark bars that look almost exactly the same. You have tabs at the top. Uh, forward back buttons, um, the refresh button a little bit further to the right in Firefox, on the left in Chrome, uh, the URL bar, the ability to add extensions here. Um, now you might think, well, the extensions might be different because some people would only develop an extension for Chrome or some people might only develop an extension for Firefox. But for any good extension, that's really not the case. So here we have the LastPass password manager. Uh, it's cross-platform and it's also cross-browser. So you can get that in Firefox just as easily as you can get it in Chrome. You can even get it in uh, browsers like Microsoft Edge. So in most cases, you don't really have to worry about that. And things like Adblock Plus, uh, of course, there's so many Adblock programs out there now. Um, you can easily get that in both as well. So in, in terms of extensions, you're really not lacking on any of the functionality in either browser. Um, now you might think, well, what if you're a developer or something like that? In uh, Firefox, you can just as easily go down here to inspect element as you can in Chrome. So inspect here, and then, oh look, you can look at the page code, you can put it in mobile view, all of that same stuff, and yes, you can move this down to the bottom if you wanted to do that. So that's not even a big issue. Um, and in terms of speed, um, I think they're pretty comparable. Uh, obviously, you can go look up the exact benchmarks to figure out which one is exactly the most optimized browser. Uh, but in general, it doesn't really matter because a lot of what speed on the internet comes down to is actually how well the website is optimized. Because if the website has like 10 megabytes of images to load, uh, it's going to slow down how long it takes for your web browser to even load it. Uh, a lot of it is just loading up things with bandwidth, not necessarily your computer speed. So uh, at the end of the day, the differences in your web browsing isn't going to be that dramatic. Um, yeah, once again, there's going to be some minor differences, and you can go look them up if you really care. Um, but hopefully you can see just how similar these two applications are. Firefox and Chrome, I use both of them. I think they're both very good. Um, and obviously the other web browsers out there like Microsoft Edge may be a little bit different than these two. I don't actually know why they're so similar, but they, they really are. And then the other ones like Microsoft Edge have a bit of a different theme going on. Um, but at the end of the day, a web browser is a web browser, right? It's there for one purpose, which is to browse the internet. Well, the main reason anyway. Um, so you still have all the important things in tech, bookmarks, uh, ability to have multiple tabs, all that kind of junk. So. If you were wondering, should you go with Chrome or Firefox, it really shouldn't hit your mind too much. I would just say pick one, go with it, try it for a while. You can't go wrong with either. But if you really insist on using a Google account, um, then you can go ahead and use Chrome because you can sign into your Google account there. Uh, but if for some reason you don't want to use Google, then Firefox is there for you because Firefox Foundation or Mozilla Foundation uh, they have their own set of accounts, which, of course, can sync all your data between the devices, so you're not losing out on anything there either. But I've been Chris, so thanks for watching this video, just comparing how similar these two applications are. Um, both solid browsers, you can't go wrong with either one. And uh, hopefully this video was entertaining for you guys. So I've been Chris once again, and I will see you guys in my future video content.